guys what's up welcome to the video um i had a problem getting this fixed um this uh, edit thing um i was using i did the same exact video like 25 minutes ago and i finished editing it and i let it load and i let it save and hatch up and everything fix it up in the end my narration did not work whatsoever i believe it's my laptop being a fucking retard i, I need to f I need to get a new one i don't know what's wrong it's a really good one too anyway Let's start with the patch notes. Uh, let's see. They fixed the tutorial. I do not know what was wrong with the tutorial, but apparently there was something wrong with it, and it was worth fixing. Um, they have two avatars called the Hang Tua and the Scarecrow Fade. Fade's obviously the Fade avatar, and Hang Tua is going to be a Gold Edition Sandwrith avatar. Um, we'll see when I go down where it's gonna when it's gonna be released. But they fixed them. Uh, one was not being an avatar, the other one was being a weird avatar. Anyway, so, they released a new ultimate avatar. Again. Emphasis on the, again, uh, still no new hero, which is quite frustrating, actually. I, I believe that we need a new hero. It's gonna lose popularity if we don't get a new hero, dude. Come on, Han, S2 Games, please, make a new hero. Please, finish Strife up already. And release a new damn hero. Come on. Come on. Anyway, here's the Nine Hound Avatar. This is where it looks like. Let me close this. Right here. Uh, Cowardly Nine Hound Ultimate Avatar. So, you get like Elder Parasite, you get the mask. This is like Charged Hammer, Brutalizer, um, Frostburn, all that stuff. And Metal of. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not going to buy it. It's not worth it because I don't like any of the Ultimate Avatars that they're releasing. Yes, okay, so here's all the items if you want to scroll through it if you want to pause and read it or something All right, here we go Deadwood, Hammerstorm, Pearl, Sandwraith, and Fade Avatars All of these represent the uh, Wizard of Oz series, you, you know that movie, right guys? I, I think you know that, I think it's a pretty popular movie, everyone should know it um, Yeah, so all of these represent one of the characters So Good Witch Pearl would be um, I think her name is Dorothy, and Scarecrow Fate is the Scarecrow. This is Tin Hammerstorm, so obviously it's a Tin. I think Deadwood would be a Lion, because come in, come look what in. it looks like. He's the only one that's been released so far. I'll show you what it looks like. This right here. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's what he looks like. So I would suggest he is the Lion, maybe? I don't know. I'm just thinking that. Anyway, so each one of those is going to be released on a different day. Now, this is what fucked up Han, in my opinion. The Courier Rework. Now, in the bottom corner, you guys have, like, everyone has um, commands. There's an attack, stop, hold, move, um, fortification, and taunt. I think those are all six. Um... They removed those. They only have four now. Taunt, Fortification, Use Courier Button, and Courier Status. Now, let me read this to you. When you use the Use Courier Button, the Courier will grab all of the items in your stash, use Speed Burst, deliver the items to you, and return to base. That's literally what it does. The Courier Status now shows stats at a glance about the Courier. The icon will change depending on what the Courier is doing. Changes between Idle, Getting Stash Items, Delivering, Returning, Dead, or Roaming when someone is manually controlling it. Upper icon changes color based. Upper icon changes color based on who's controlling the courier. Oh, okay, my bad. And lower icon changes based on if the courier is private, shared, or dead. This information will also appear when your stash is open. Um, what it means, basically, in my opinion, this is what it means is they remove the hotkey. Now you have to manually press on the courier manually. My bad. I think I said something else. Um, yeah. So manually press on the courier. And the hotkey that used to send you automatically to the courier now only delivers your items. So if you want to do a quick ward of sight slash ward of revelation, switch up health pots, uh, drop your boots or something, and you want to put them into the courier, you can't do that anymore. I do that a lot. That's a big deal for me, okay? I think that's a huge deal for me. But maybe it's not for anyone else. It's just a huge deal for me because I don't ever manually click my courier, so I have to get a lot of used to it. Hero balance. Oh man, this this is this is worse than the courier right here. This this monkey king thing. Oh my god, starting strength, agility, intelligence have all been reduced by one respectively. 
um, doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is. It could save your life. It could be the difference between killing somebody because you didn't have the mana, or if you have the mana, and the extra auto attacks from agility and the armor, of course. Yeah, it's just, it just could be the lifesaver, man. Elusive Dash is your first skill, the one that makes you dash. And if you hit something again, you can dash again. They removed the flat 10, 20, 30, 40, all slashes in between for each level. Um, they removed that. Now it's just 100% damage, which is total shit. Which, what it did is, not only did you lose damage from less agility, so your first would deal even less damage, now it deals even less damage by 80. It deals 80 less damage. That's a pretty big deal as well. So, right now we're talking about 90 to 95, maybe even 100 damage per... Um, sorry, uh, per combo minus that much damage. So right now this guy is pretty shitty. In my opinion, he's not even my favorite hero anymore. I'm gonna remove him out of my favorites in Lord Torium uh, after this video probably. Heavenly Vault mana cost increased from 20 to uh, 120, 130, 140, 150 respectively per level. One, three, four. Um, pretty big deal. Also, if you have enough mana, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you're needing as much mana as you can get. And you want to spam some combos, it's it's gonna be a really big deal. I, I think it's bad. This bot API thing, I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it is for this co-op thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Whoops, my bad. Okay. Now, LRM with artillery, bug faces and optimization. Artillery, LRM's turn sub skill now shows the cast range indicator correctly if you click on the skill with your mouse. What happened with me is my Q wasn't working whatsoever for some reason, and I actually took it out and fixed it and put it back in the next day, and I actually happened to play artillery that day, and I had to press my Q manually. I had to move, see my mouse, I had to move it all the way down, press it, aim it, and then when I want to switch, I have to press here and press here and press here, press here, press here, press here. It took me forever, and we lost that game too, so, uh, yeah. Um, why? There was some problems with the cast range indicator, and, well, now they fixed it, thankfully. Uh, fork lightning range indicator also has been adjusted to be correct. I haven't played Master of Arms in a while, so I don't know what that is. I don't know what the problem was with it, but... Neutral creeps controlled by command on Ophelia now deal and take the correct damage. Also, I don't know about Ophelia that much, because I didn't really not like notice it. Um, Pharaoh, also, um, he unbinds with him if he hits someone with it. Um, let's say you ulti, and you go from one part of the map to another part, you hit somebody. What I mean by binds with him is I think, I'm not sure, but I think on the bottom right of your screen, it'll link you and him together. It's not going to be a problem, like it won't affect your gameplay, but... I don't know, maybe it just binds you with him or something. I don't know. But that's apparently what happens, and now they removed it. Ravenor. Power Overwhelming will now probably propagate to illusions and will do reduced damage on them. See, I have no idea what that means, but um, apparently it's been a problem with illusions. They deal max damage or something. I guess he gets more charges or something. And now they fixed it. Now, the last one is Telepist's Elemental Void now pulls the Ancient Creeps properly. Um, I actually did ulti because I did do a three pull stack. So there was nine um, Ancient Creeps in one place. I ultied and I let my carry get all of them. But for some reason, it didn't pull them toward the middle. So it was harder for him to land his like, damage on them like all at once because he was artillery. And he tried using his first on him, but they weren't all together because they're supposed to be pulled, but they weren't. So he only ended up killing like half of them, and then he had to run away and do the other half again. So thankfully now he do they do pull him now. Uh, let's see. Last parts. Fix the ranked slash unranked setting in matchmaking, changing itself to unranked on startup instead of restoring your last setting. What that means is this. You go to play now. You say, hey, I want to play a game. Then you press start. This you start, start game now, enter matchmaking queue. It'll be on unranked, which is where it always starts. Thankfully now, where you left it off from last time, was on ranked. They put that, and that's where it's going to be, as long as you keep it that way. 
You know what I mean? Okay, and then fix some options not working correctly when changed via search, for example, swap mini map. So when you're searching and you try to fix something, apparently it did not work. I've never had a problem with searching for anything in the first place, so that's thankfully for me, but for all of you guys, uh, that's good for you. Um, I don't know what to say about this patch. I I honestly despise this patch, but that's just one opinion, one man's opinion, because well, the Korean rework, in my opinion, I don't enjoy it, and I played a couple games on it, and I don't think it's good. Hopefully they do fix it, but this is just my opinion. Also, the Monkey King. Um, oh my God, I I lost a terrible game with him. None of my combos did a full damage. Oh my God, it was horrible. Like. Um, let's see, in the last video of Monkey King I had, you noticed that I got a bloodlust on him, on the opponent, because I used my dash, and then I dashed again per auto attack. So, I mean, I dealt about 200 damage with, uh, two of my firsts and two auto attacks, maybe three, and sometimes actually four. Um, well now, they just a hundred and a little bit of damage, like 130, 150 maybe. It's just so much less. I hate it so much. I, I just hate it. And the 150 is going to get used to if I ever play Monkey King again. I highly doubt I'll ever try to play him again. I fucking hate the hero now. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion. Also, Clan Dammy so racist. If you guys want to join it, just say on the channel. Tell me when you're going to be on. I'll get on and I'll invite you. Or you can... Um, sorry, I can be on. You guys can join this. You don't even have to be in the clan to join this channel. You guys do whatever you want. In fact, I'm going to change the topic to welcome, keep it real. Okay. That's it. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't even know. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the uh, patch. if you.